Welcome everyone. I'm Tony Embry and I'm coming to you live from my Riverview Creative Studio in New Bern, North Carolina. Raining cats and dogs. Hopefully we won't wash away. I'm on the second level so hopefully we won't wash away but I'm telling you if it's in if you're anywhere like here it's just been raining and raining and raining and raining and there's a thunderstorm right now so I'm hoping that uh, it is okay. So um, <clears throat> tonight is Thursday night and it is just about seven o'clock and uh, so I'm going to be doing uh, I did one well, I guess last week Thursday night and so I've decided that Thursday night is going to be my night. Um, I tried in the past to do multiples uh, a week and I just found that I felt more rushed and uh, not as relaxed to try to come up with projects and do everything plus have time to actually create things on my own that I wanted to do. So uh, we're going to go with one night a week and hopefully uh, you guys will be able to tune in if not uh, see it afterwards. But anyway, so uh, I will, it's almost seven o'clock. Let's see if anybody's coming on. So far there's nobody odd yet, but uh, so I'll just wait a couple more minutes and see what's happening. But um, you can see in the background, my studio's there. And I have this little banner that's uh, right here. And uh, I haven't figured out, I like it there, but I haven't figured out how to get rid of it um, on just one screen when I'm on looking, when I'm actually showing you how to do the project. So I thought I would, uh, I thought I would just keep it up here tonight, but uh, it's only temporary. I'm hoping that I can figure out how to, uh, to get rid of it for the one screen. Otherwise it shows up uh, everywhere. So uh, anyway, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. And then it's almost seven. It looks like there's three people there. Let's see. Me. For some reason, it's not showing me the people. Let's see if I can see it. The techies, I believe. I can't see them. Okay. There you go. The comments are off. Let's back to the comments. All right. Comments on? Comments on? Yeah, I think so. Hopefully there. Hi, Darty. I can see some people. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start my project. So let me turn the camera down so I can show you what we're gonna to do tonight. Okay, hopefully there's not a little bit of a delay, I think. Yeah, there's a little bit of a delay. Anyway, okay, yeah, okay. Hi, Carla. Okay, so tonight we are going to, I'm gonna be using the Sweet Symmetry Suite. It's in our new catalog. So I'm gonna be using the products from here. I love the colors, and uh, I'll be using their designer series pa designer series paper as well. And uh, I'll show you. But if you do the bundle, the bundle. Oh, I have it here. The bundle comes with the uh, stamp set here. Best day ever in symmetry it comes with the stamp set, and then it comes with this cool. Uh, punch that punches out these little leaf things and it comes with the flirty flamingo ribbon metallic ribbon which is really pretty and um, for the bundle for the paper it actually comes with paper too let me show you the paper okay so this is the sweet symmetry paper I have a hard time saying that but sweet symmetry paper and uh, this is you can see up close so it's all of our papers are double sided. You can see how beautiful the colors are. Um, so uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to show you something. There we go. Uh, all the different colors that are in here. Back here. Okay. So it has bumblebee, calypso coral, flirty flamingo, night of navy, and just jade. And I got really excited about different cards. So. This is the card that, uh, one of the cards I created. This one has Just Jade as a card base. And then it has Flirty Flamingo here, uh, Calypso Coral here, as Knight of Navy is in the center. Uh, this is the Bumblebee. Okay, and then 
this is Flurry Flamingo here, Flurry Flamingo here. Uh, this is the paper, and this is the card. I created this card for a swap um, that I did recently, and uh, I didn't use the same, I, I, I used the same um, card base, but I didn't use this paper for the design. So I got real excited about it. So here's one. We're gonna actually, I'm gonna actually show you how I made this one tonight. But I'm gonna show you the other five cards, the other four cards that I did. So this one is in the uh, coral, Calypso coral. I always wanna call it, I always wanna call it terracotta, but it's not, it's not even close, but uh, it's a similar shade and uh, a little darker. So I always, I don't know when I'm thinking about it, but anyway, Calypso coral. So. This one has the navy blue ribbon. This is the bumblebee. This is the just jade. So these are all papers that are in the symmetry. This is one side of the paper. This is the other side of the paper. And uh, so this little card here uh, is where you put your sentiment. So anyway, that's that's number card number two. And uh, here's card number three. Again, I use the paper and I put the flirty flamingo uh, ribbon. Isn't that gorgeous? I, I just love it. And I love these little, I love all those different papers, right? I mean, uh, it's just, I mean, this is Flurry Flamingo here, right? Back in the, that light color. But anyway, and so I stamped, so on this one, you'll see that I stamped the center of the flowers with a Flurry Flamingo. And I'll show you how I did that. Anyway, that's number three. And then here is number four. So this one, I put the ribbon on the side. And so and this one, I chose to stamp everything. So um, you're perfectly unique. So I stamped all of these different ones on. And so you can see that I stamped the color in the centers of the flowers, the leaves. So you do your lighter and then darker so that it uh, shows up. And so then um, I stamped the flower here. And I stamped this one. Isn't it cool? So there's so many different options I wanted to... I just kept doing the cards and I couldn't stop. I was just like, okay. So I wanted to do every card base. So this card base is not a navy, right? So I wanted to use all the cards and um, and see how it goes. So this one is Flirty Flamingo card base. And so this is another one of the papers, front and back, back and front, whichever way you want to look at it. And then these are the little uh, stamps, the little cutouts from, from this, which I've got to do some. Uh, and then here's some more Flirty Flamingo rivet, more stamping. So this card has, you know, combination of the two. So there's five cards, totally different, uh, but similar in that it's the same fold. So uh, I'm going to move these out of the way for now, and I'm going to bring in everything, and I'm going to show you how to make the card. This one, I'll get rid of this right now, but it's in our annual catalog. Okay, so. Okay. So, Knight of Navy, Bumblebee, Flirty Flamingo, and Calypso Coral. Okay, so those are the stamp pads, and I'm going to set those on the side. For this particular card, okay, so let me pull out my little, the Ed Symmetry is here, and let me pull out my um, instruction card. So I try to make an instruction card to keep me sane, uh, and so then I can file these away with the card, and then, uh, so I always know. Uh, how to do it without, I mean, I always have my trusty ruler to measure everything, but it's kind of nice to have them um, out. So I wrote these on, I used expire, uh, retired papers um, for this part. So for the double panel fun fold, the base is, you take an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, okay? So then, so half of it, so you turn it on to the eight and a half side, and you cut it at four and a quarter. Okay, so you can do two cards, two card bases from one sheet of paper. Okay, good. Get my bone folder out. Okay, so this is the card. And then, um, so we score it at three inches. And then the designer series paper, we want for both of these sides. Okay, so here and here we are going to um, cut four inch by two and three quarter inch piece of designer series paper. 
So I've done those already. So we have these already cut for you, aren't they pretty? So you could do them, you know, you could do them however you want. I mean, you could do them both this way or both this way or do them like I'm doing them. But anyway, so this one will go here uh, the way I'm doing it. And then this one will go here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere those there so that um, to get it out of the way. It'll... So I'm going to pull out my stamp and seal. Isn't it pretty though? It's like, it's so hard to determine. Let's see. I think I'll use this right here. Like I'll use this one here. Really no difference, but yeah. The other one is a little more centered. I, I don't know, I love the, I hope you guys love the paper as much as I do. I, 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 I'm so glad I, I, I ordered more of this paper because I have fallen in love with it. it I just love the small prints. Okay, so I, I'm leave, I'm choosing to to use a little bit, leave a little bit of a border. Uh, you can or you don't have to. So that's how I'm doing it on this card. So there's a little bit of a border here. And um, then this wood, I'm going to put right here on this wood. And you could use whatever adhesive uh, you have. You could use uh, Tombow white um, glue, which I use a lot, but... Uh, Recently, I've started using um, using more of the stamp and seal. Pretty. Okay. So, I mean, it's beautiful just like this. You could just put a sentiment on it and bow, whatever. Uh, and then, so this is the second piece of the fold, which goes in here. So for this one, you want cardstock and this is basic white and so you want to do a six and a half inch piece by two and a half inches you can see two and a half I can't really see it but it's two and a half here two and a half by six and a half okay and then you want to score it at two and a half okay and what I'm putting on here for this particular card is I'm actually putting cardstock on that part Okay, so let's see. I've already cut my cardstock out, and I'm going to put it right there. So just around this, and I find that it's much faster for me if I go ahead. For you guys, you're bored while I'm cutting everything else. So, um, but you know, I'm telling you every day that you need to know, but you don't have to watch me um, cut them out for you. Okay, so there's there's that. So then this is where your sentiment can go inside here. Uh, you could choose to stamp something here if you want. Um, this particular one, I didn't stamp anything. Sometimes I stamp something, uh, sometimes not. Okay, so then here's the option for you. I usually put mine in like this. And so depending on how you decorate it, depending on how you decorate it, you can uh, have it here or you could choose to move this out to here. Or further out so that it doesn't have as much overlap if you if you don't want the overlap so I'll show you where you set it up you could kind of see set it up the card like this it sets up really pretty really pretty so you can't see it from there but <laughs> maybe you could see it from here when I show it anyway so uh, however you do it I usually I don't I really don't care about this part because you're gonna open it and you're gonna let it set like this so you can do whatever uh, you whatever suits your fancy, uh, but this is how this is how I'm I'm showing you to do it. Okay, so then we just need to get out some double sided tape, which I have doubles, and you don't have to use double sided tape. I prefer to use it in instances where uh, you know you're going to be opening and closing the card a few times, and so I just kind of want to make sure that it's uh, secure, and you don't want the person that you're giving it to to they're going to love it so much that they're going to want to have it sitting around for you know for a long time so you don't want them to uh it to fall apart so i put the double-sided tape on it here so i just gotta make sure that i did it right okay so that i pull this off I'll take your pick pool tool do this so you can see i know i've got that bar at the bottom so i'm trying to do it so you guys can see what i'm doing <laughs> I think that's under stop for the moment. Okay, so 
So again, like I said, you could put yours wherever suits your fancy. I don't want everything right. Mm -hmm. And it's eyeballed, you know. I'm just eyeballing it, so you do. You do you, I do me. Sometimes people like to measure. I like to eyeball. So there we go. Okay, so that's that. And then I will put a bow on it a little bit later. Um, so then I'm going to, so I used, let me pull out my, so I used the um, scalloped contour dies for, uh, for this particular piece because I thought it would uh, be kind of nice to have a vellum backing and so uh, for here for my flower. So I used this piece to do a vellum piece right here and then I'll, um, I'll develop my design on top of it. So I'm just going to um, use like stamp and seal on it because I'm covering most of it up so it's not going to be a really a big deal uh, that you could see it, um, see the glue. So I just, that particular one is a little bit, uh, a little bit, a little bit bigger, but I like the way, I like the way it looks. It kind of just distinguishes between. Okay, so this is the one that I used for that, and it's uh, four, a three point, three and uh, three and three quarters by two and a half is the size. Okay, so there goes that, and then I, I did some fussy cutting for these flowers. I'm going to show you how I stamp the flowers um, and then I'm going to put them together with you. Okay. Get rid of that. Okay. So I went ahead and stamped this and I put some um, sticky on the back. So I have these three. I'm not going to use all these, but I just I just like fussy cutting them. So I did an extra one of these just in case I had a problem. Uh, okay. So for these, if I have a paper, so I've got some extra paper. Okay, I'll stamp it on here. All right, so what, what I did, it's kind of hard. So we're going to use um, Bumblebee. On Bumblebee. I love this flower that you could, it's almost like a peacock cause you could put like a, use it as like a peacock tail. So uh, you could stamp it right here. Do you see that? Stamp it right there. Okay, stamp it right there. And then I wanted to add a little dimension to the flower. So I decided, I played around with it, I decided that I wanted to put this little center in, so let me go get my little scratch piece of paper, scratch piece of paper, stamp it on. So then I put the little piece of paper like right here. Let's see how big it. And then the blue. I'm gonna put the blue on. Put it out of the way. Put it out of the way. Don't get close up there. See how that? Isn't that kind of fancy? It just kind of adds a little bit of more dimension to the flower. I did a fussy cut them out. And so I did, I used the navy blue on these flowers. So let's see, bring it out here. And I don't think I used, I don't think I used any dimensions. I did use dimensions on that one. Okay, not the first one. Okay, so this one is uh, Calypso Coral, and then I stamped Calypso Coral on it. Okay, so. This one I'm just gonna put with some glue if I can find it. I'm gonna use my Tombow white glue. And I'm gonna put some glue on it. Okay, stick that on right here. Okay, and then get out these. And I'll put some move this out of the way for the moment so you can see because I want to get out there. Okay, so I'm going to take this one which is in the bumblebee, stamped on bumblebee, and this is my Mida Navy. I'm going to put a couple 
dimensionals from here. I think <clears throat> part of making the card is the fun of, of actually building it too. Okay, well then, I love this little work. This one. And this is uh, Flirty Flamingo on Flirty Flamingo. And then this is the Night of Navy. And you could just use a little bit, but it's a tiny bit. I did. Okay. Now, they're down here at the bottom. I'm going to put thanks so much, which is, um, I pre stamped that on. The uh, Flirty Flamingo, and that's navy blue. And then this stamp, which I love, is in the catalog as well. I can't remember the name of it right now, but it's it's very distinctive. I think I get, should have written it down, but I, I did it. Uh, I forgot. Okay, so let me take these off. And yeah, these are weird shapes because I we use we just cut everything up because you can use the little side pieces and everything. They they all have sticky on them. Okay, so then I'm just going to put this down here. I kind of like to go beyond the border a little bit just because. And then uh, I cut out all these little, I cut out all these little things. And I, and I decided I would do some gold this time because I didn't put gold in the last try. So let's see. Where is it? Where is the gold? And these are fun because you just kind of stick them wherever you want to stick them. Whatever suits you. Yeah, I think we just stick them right here. Oh, I don't know what that did. Well, I didn't like stand too much. I want to make sure it fits in the envelope. And then I just use that little tape and pick to kind of make sure that it um that it goes in. And then the cool thing about this is you could use uh this paper or this size, whichever uh you know, whichever coat you like. You like it's your it's your it's your card. You do whatever makes you happy, or whatever you think your friend would like. Okay, so let's put that back. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. We're good. I think I see it. Oh, this is the fun part. Finishing it off. You guys are having a good first day. It's been a blast too. It's lots of rain, but I've been very creative. A nice creative week for me. I think I have. So, so yeah. I don't know what to do. You see the the vellum just adds a little something something to it. It's so nice. I love this card. I think that's why I got so excited about this particular um, one with all the colors. I really love the colors. I'll rub that off in a bit um, when it dries. The uh, there's just so many colors to choose from that I was like, okay, I'm gonna do all, I'm gonna do all of them because I can just see that they're all gonna be a little, they're gonna all look a little different, and I just wanted to do it. So then I just kept playing with it, and they really came together quickly because uh, I was so excited about doing them. Okay, I'm going to stop with that because I could just keep going. And then I'm going to make a bow out of the bumblebee ribbon. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. So this is bumblebee. I like the uh, I like the contrast that I can get with it. So I have this adjustable bow maker that's such a lifesaver. And I wrap it around twice. Um, you can do three. You could do one. I kind of like the way it looks um, with two bows. So that's how I, I always do it that way. Um, and then I guess I don't know. But I know it looks the way I like it. I don't often do bows on everything uh, just because sometimes when you put them in packages, sometimes they get a little crushed. So depending on what the situation is. I always add something nice to it. And then, I don't know about you, but these little ribbons, I have a rack my husband made for me. But uh, sometimes I just take the ribbon off the rack without removing it. And so I use these little T-pens 
you can get in the store. But I think you can get them at Walmart, but any craft store. And these hold it in place. So, well, one thing you can always find me in the other thing that holds it in place, which is nice. Okay, so by the way, so see, so we have two a two loop. So press with it a little bit. Cleans out. This rivet's a little bit stiffer, so I could put these directly. Um, sometimes I just put them on the paper and then put the bow on it. But anyway, okay. So I think it looks cool. So this one I'm going to do. I'm not going to do right in the center because that way it won't wrap. So I'm going to do it like right. I'll just close it like this because I can. It will look different. The other one, I did it in the mental. This one I'm going to do here. Okay. So let me get out my rhinestones. I love the rhinestones, but they look really good here. Okay, so rhinestones. Okay, these have a bit open, but okay. No fingernails. Okay, pull this out. Okay, here we go. I like the little ones for the sitters. So I could put it. Isn't it cool? Let's go right the center. I like the little shiny. And if you mail it to someone, you could turn this to the back. But I also, if you have a little piece of, uh, if you have a little piece of foam to put like over this part, uh, it'll keep, it'll help keep them from crushing when they go, if they happen to go through the machine. Or you can pay extra uh, for it to be hand canceled by a hand canceled stamp, um, which is I don't know how much. How much more it is, but if you like, whatever. If you do a lot of um, fancy stuff on it, you might want to think about that. But uh, if you just put a little piece of foam or something, or fold it over a paper towel, uh, it will help. And then when you put it in a card envelope, do it this way so that your address is on this side of the envelope and this is the back. Okay, so once again, I'll show you. So this is the card we did, <coughs> and then. If you have any questions about how I made these, uh, feel free to drop me a line, but uh, you'll see them here. So I think uh, you could probably figure out real easy what I did, but uh, these are stamped and I used only the colors that I told you about, how about told you about already. So these are all the colors that I used and you can see that the flirty flamingo and the calypso coral are, this one's a little more orange in it. So they're very close if you didn't look close enough, but they are. They are different colors. And then this one is two. These are two different colors. But uh, the flirty flamingo ribbon, gotta have it. And then this is the night one I use. Isn't it pretty? Okay. <clears throat> well, thank you guys for joining in on Thursday night. And uh, stay safe. And I will look forward to seeing you guys again on Thursday, next Thursday. And tomorrow, the Gentleman uh, Crafters group, we are going live at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. And I have a cool project that I have already pre-recorded that will be live on my page at 9. So uh, if you have time, um, watch for it and go and and, um, and watch it. It's, it's kind of cool. It's a different, totally different set. But uh, I still did use the in symmetry, um, the paper. All right. Okay. Good night. See you next week.